So hi guys, we find the solution how to get off from stuck iPhone 3GS in recovery mode or DFU mode. So the problem is the iPhone got base baseband 6.15 and the firmware is 4.2.1. So we're gonna show you the solution how to unbrick or put it in a normal mode. So the first step is connect the computer. After that the iPhone might be in recovery mode or restore mode, it doesn't matter right now. So we're gonna open up the iTunes so the iPhone should come up with the error so let, let's click on shift and restore and we're gonna pick up the iPhone 2.1 4.2.1 restore it have to be the original uh, restore from Apple so after this process it should come up with error 1015 don't worry about it, it's ok iPhone supposed to show how to gonna restore the new firmware into it. So it's gonna take let's say five minutes. Okay guys, so there is the error 1015. It come up from the iTunes. It's alright, don't worry about that. Everything's okay. We expect expect that so the iTunes uh, iPhone is still in rec recovery mode so just click OK uh, close the close the iTunes and the second very important step is open up the the newest version of Red Snow it's beta 6 So everybody knew this program. So the, all what you have to do is just click on browse, pick up the original 4.2.1 restore. So it have to be the new version of iPhone 3GS with the new boot ROM. Just click OK. Yes, whatever. Click next. Uh, pick up the checkbox called just entered permanent def mode right now. Click next. And put the iPhone. It's gonna put the iPhone into. Uh, DFU mode. Just hold the both of buttons, and after show up the iPhone logo, release the sleep button. It's no, it's not big deal, and there is running exploiting. In the red snow. No. Okay, guys, welcome back. So there is a step number three. So this step is very important. You have to edit the host file. So you have to go to the window structure. So there is a there is a path windows backslash system thirty two backslash drivers backslash 
etc slash host so there should be a file so you have to add underneath the IP address 74.208.10.249 space gs.apple.com don't worry about this just save it after that open up the iTunes so the iPhone is still in DFU mode, so the screen is black. So the iTunes detect iPhone in recovery mode, that's alright. So click shift and hit restore and pick up the iPhone custom restore. It's very important, it has to be custom restore. So the link to the custom restore is gonna be in comment under the video so and there is also gonna be quick step-by-step -step guide how to do that so the iTunes gonna extract and put it in the iPhone so it's gonna take five minutes iPhone's gonna show up the white screen and the, the slider how to how to get the new software into him Pause it. so welcome back we got the last steps so the all what you have to do is just watch out how do your iPhone is going back and everything's gonna be alright. So the restoring is in finish. iPhone show up. The iPhone's gonna be restarted. And it have to be in the menu. So if you got the error 29 in this uh, whatever in the process so the the problem is I'm pretty sure the problem is the wrong battery so just change the battery and the problem 29 is gonna disappear voila voila there you go so the iPhone is active and all what you have to do is just put you, the valid SIM card into him so just put the regular SIM card from your Cartier and iPhone gonna work back so if you got any question or if you whatever is not working for you just let us know we gonna help you so stay tuned and we gonna show up the next very important video for you so enjoy your iPhone and have fun